So what we're talking about today is just basic uh, pump principles and cavitation, air in the pump, lack of water. So when we talk about a fire engine, we on our engines, we have a 500 gallon water tank that sits about in this area here, which is generally higher than where the pump is. And so what happens is, is we have our tank to pump valve here. It's normally, that valve is normally open in the open position when this handle is in, it's closed when we pull it out. So we normally have it open in and then the tank feeds water by way of gravity down to the pump. So the pump is technically always wet. So if we were to, to um, close off this tank, we don't have any other water source hooked up and we go and drain our tank out, Now we basically have a pump that has no water in it. So this is only for training purposes. We don't ever want to damage the pump and run it without water. But what we want to show is what would happen if we fire the pump up because it's still going to go into pump electrically and mechanically, but it's not going to make any pressure on our gauge. We know that once we put this uh, rig and pump, it should make about 40 or 45 PSI just off of the tank. So we're going to look for our signs and we're going to see if we're making any pressure, which we're probably not because we don't have any water. So we'll attempt to throttle it up. We'll still see no pressure. So basically now our pump is, does not have any more uh, water in it. Um, so we won't make any pressure. So um, theoretically, if we push this in, gravity should feed the pump and now the pump should be wet and it should start making pressure. But you're gonna notice that it won't automatically make pressure. So we're gonna have to come along and we're gonna have to prime it. This is a manual handle pull on the first generation. The second generation actually has a push button similar to that. So for this, we'll, we'll pull and activate our primer when we're ready. And then we'll see that it'll start making pressure. But actually, as I throttle up RPMs, you'll actually see that the pressure starts to bounce. And that's because it still has some air in it. So one thing you always have to know in drafting situations, cavitation situations, or when we have potential air in the pump, we have to give that air some place to go. So the best thing to do is open up a discharge. In this case, one of the ways that we could simply open up a discharge and give that air some place to go is by pulling the tank uh, fill because that's basically a small discharge that's dumping water back into the top of the tank. So things to notice about this, this valve, this tank to pump valve sits at the bottom of the water tank. This tank valve uh, for tank fill dumps water into the top of the tank. So when you look at these, think top of the tank, bottom of the tank. This is out, so it's closed. We're gonna fire it up, put it in pump. You're gonna see no pressure. We'll push it in, we'll prime. We'll get the pump to start making pressure, but you'll notice that there's air in it. And it's not until we give that air some place to go. In this case, we'll open up the tank valve, tank fill valve, and then we'll start making pressure and it won't be bouncing anymore. And that's how we know our air is out of the way. The motor spinning. I got pump engagement with the tank lights on. I got my center light on, so I know I'm in pump. I got a full water tank, but I got no water pressure. So I'm gonna try and throttle up. Obviously, got no water pressure. This is for training only. I don't want to damage the pump. So if I push the tank to pump valve in, now it's open, theoretically, gravity should fill the uh, pump and we should get pressure, but we still don't. So that must mean we've got a primer. So if we hit the primer, <laughs> now we got pressure. So now the pump's wet, but let's see if there's any air in there.